Dun, 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 Hi, hi, hi. Guys, I'm back with the Love Island content. Yeah, get me. Can I just firstly say, you lot have been on my neck, not even my neck, my nipples for this content. There's people DMing my sisters. There's people stopping me in a, in a, in a road saying, Aria, Love Island content. And I'm like, guys, I'm just taking it all in. The first week was absolutely tragic. That's what was happening. It was probably drier than, than rye bread. It was so dry, my foot looked creamed compared. Do you know what I'm saying? I was like, listen, I'm not going to come and do week one. Why am I doing so much with my hands? I'm not going to come and do week one because week one was dry. It was lacking moisture. So I said, you know what? I'm going to have a nice little watch. I'm going to watch it, see what happens in week two. And I said, if it's good enough, I'll do some content. And it passed the test. So, all right. Firstly, yes, I'm wearing loungewear, pyjamas. Now, is it pyjamas if I haven't worn it to bed? Like, this is loungewear. Because my new thing is wearing matching loungewear in the house when I'm running after these mad kids. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because if I, feel like, I feel like if I'm wearing a co-ward, I've got my ish together more. There's probably bogey and stuff on the knees and, and, and everywhere because kids are... But it's all right. Got me drink. Make sure that you've got your snacks and your drinks. All right. Make sure you're drinking your greens. You know? I'm drinking this because I had KFC last night. Mm. Balance. You know what I'm saying? Balance. Right. dun 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 Okay, cool. Let's run through it. I've got a list in my phone where it says, where it says, um, Love Island and all the people's names and stuff. And we're going to get through it. Firstly, this season... Hmm, what can I say about this season so far? I mean, it's all right. You know, it's picking up. I want a bit more drama. I love a drama, I do. And it's a bit more, like, everyone is, hmm. I feel like with Love Island, it's like there's, there's the same type of people, just with different names. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I'll get into it. Cool. First person on my list is Paige. Paige, yeah. Yeah. I actually want to first say a disclaimer because everybody's so freaking sensitive these days. Everybody's so flipping sensitive. You step on someone's toe and you say, sorry. No, the term is not sorry. The term is I'm extremely apologetic. Can we just, can we just get back to the banter? Get back to the laugh, laughing. I am going to go and be honest about every single person in this. And I also don't want people to think that I'm trying to bully people. Listen, this is just how it is. Same way that I'm judging people, there's someone judging me right now. Someone, there's someone talking about me right now. Get over yourself. Do you understand? Not everyone's going to like you. And that's all right. And also, if I comment on how sharp Amber's chin is, that doesn't mean that I'm sending death threats. That doesn't mean anything. I'm just saying that her chin's sharp. Just like my chin's sharp. When I lose a bit of pounds, when I lose a couple of pounds, my chin goes sharp like a brogue. And that's all right. You know what I mean? Everybody just needs to get off their freaking high horse. Do you know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. Anyway, Paige. Paige is nice. Lovely body. Uh, just nice. You know, one of those people that you kind of forget that they're in the house. Um... Someone that just awkwardly laughs in every single situation. Um, one thing that I do want to say about Paige is the whole, when the whole Ekin Sue thing happened, right? When um, Ekin Sue was on all fours like a dragon rolling through the Love Island villa on all fours, as in no kneecap protection. She was rolling on the floor to, to come and do mwakam, to come and do little mwakam. Babe, you're giving yourself ashy knees just to do mwakam. You're not tied to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Go and kiss your babe. Um, is that my child? Okay, anyway. Um, the whole Ekansu situation, right? When Ekansu was going to kiss Jay and she was with Davide, like Davide, um, I feel like Paige wasn't being honest and I cannot stand when I notice stuff like that. Like, you know what you want to say to Ekansu, but you're there rooting for her, saying, yeah, babe, it's all right, babe. It's not all right. The way you're moving, Ekansu, isn't all right. It's actually not all right. But if I'm calling you a girlies girl and I'm one of the girls and you're my friend, 
I need to be honest with you. Do you understand? Because all of that fake rockery is just not from, it's just not for me, darling. Um, and I think sometimes you don't need to fill the silence with speech, you know? I feel like Paige was, was just talking in the awkwardness. Like, it's going to be all right. Like, it's actually not going to be all right, you know? And as a friend, just sometimes just pat her on the back and say, you should have done this better. And I'm here for you. You don't need to be coming to rub her foot down after she's done naughty, naughty things. Okay. Um, Luca Wasteman. That's literally what I want to say about Luca. Luca is doing too much. I feel like Luca... I feel like Luca's teeth have got to his brain because I actually don't understand what's actually going on. One, I don't understand the connection that he has with Gemma. I swear to you guys that he knows that Michael, Michael Jordan, that's not his dad. That's not her dad. I'm sure that she, he knows that Michael Owen, is that his name? Lloyd, is that his name? If it's not his name, edit the whole thing out. Anyway. I'm sure that Michael Owen, he knows that Michael Owen's her dad or something because I just don't understand the appeal. The conversations that they have, Gemma will be saying, ni au point. She'll be saying nothing. And Luke will be like, just love her. Just love her. Just the vibe I get from her. What vibe? She just seems like she's just disgusted by you. The fact that, bro, you're coming to give yourself bad spine. You're coming to hurt your back to sleep in the spare bed. And Gemma's doing spoony cooney with Davide. If the last liked you, babe, she would have been in the same bed with you. But here she is keeping warm inside the room. No, 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 no. And also, numerous occasions he's been sleeping on that bed, and not once has she come to lie next to him. Extremely telling. Especially if you don't like Davide, you know what I mean? Like, you're not, you and Davide aren't really getting to know each other and stuff. What loyalty do you have to Davide if you're, if you're shucking up with Luca? Doesn't make any sense. Luca, the way that you treated Danica, that's her name, isn't it? Danica was bad mind. Like, you're actually a nurse. You see a guy that feels the need to disrespect a woman because he's not attracted to her, red flag. You see, if I was seeing a guy, yeah, and he's coming to talk, he's coming to talk down to another female, I'd actually have to say, like, so what what makes you so special, firstly? And also, if something bad goes, if something happens with me and you, are you going to come and bitch the same? I don't think so. The way he was moving on that date with Danica was unnecessary it's actually it's actually very unnecessary like we every, everybody knows that you like um every day i forget her name everybody knows that you like Gemma. like you don't have to be overcompensating just being like well i'm into Gemma." so everybody knows that and then you're getting triggered at the fire pit when danica said um that you were basically sprung he got triggered but you are but you actually are it doesn't make any sense. I honestly cannot wait. I want them to send in a guy that is Gemma's whole type. Because Luca needs to actually take a one-two step. Everybody one-two step. Luca needs to one-two step. He's doing too much. Send everybody to Katara Moore now. Because I need Luca to be coming to taste blood. Because I'm not joking, yeah? But you see when... You get burnt by by a man or a female. You just even you get burnt by someone that you like, yeah. The taste of blood and the lump in your throat that you have when you wake up, my brethren, he needs to experience it because you're doing too much, bro. There's no need to disrespect another female. Just and um, Akina, <laughs> Akina, Akina. Listen, Akina, Akina. You like white girls, bro, and that's okay. Can we stop doing this? Can we stop putting in black people and black contestants and then trying to make them pair together? If Akena likes white girls, which I feel is the truth, it's actually okay. Like, it actually doesn't have to be with India. It's actually okay. It's even worse when you see two black people being forced together because they're the only two black people. If you like white girls, my bridge, my bridge, it's all right. Like, you like who you like. It's okay. You're doing too much to the point where you've now become a mute. You've become a mute. There was like many, many clips of Akina just like, was his tongue, what was happening with his tongue? Because every every clip, he was like, yeah, yeah. India would be saying, yeah, I'm really feeling you. And he'd be like, it just takes a while for me to open up. So what, 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 what? It's been two weeks, my friend. How much longer do you need? And obviously, you ain't got enough time now because you're on your way out. You're on the easy jet. You are. You've gone out. You've left. 
And you see what, what is very telling? When they were doing the, the exit interview, and they were like asking him like who he's gonna miss, whatever. He didn't even he didn't even mention India. As in, you might as well throw a brick over my head then. As in, I've been lying on you. We've been kiddling and cuddling and laughing and halfing. And you've the least you could do is mention my name and say I'm gonna miss India. You didn't mention not 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 indie. You didn't even you didn't even mention. Bye bye. I'm glad he's gone. What a bore. Um, Gemma, Gemma, I just don't know. Like she's actually, she reminds me of, hmm, do you know what? I'm not even going to say what, what she reminds me of because people will actually come for me. So she reminds me of just a, like, she's just boring. She reminds me of like a, a rubber, you know, you know, like in your pencil case, there's that rubber that's got no, like, it's got no decoration on it. It's just a white plain eraser. She reminds me of just a boring eraser, just boring. And the fact that Luca's all spilling all over her, it just gasses her even more. And I feel like it's it's a Molly May situation. Because at the beginning of Love Island, yeah, I feel like Molly May wasn't really into Tommy. That's just my opinion, people. You understand? It's why it's my channel and I'm here to voice my opinion. I didn't feel like Molly May was into Tommy in the beginning. Um, and I feel like Gemma's like that, where she's just thinking that she wants to win and get a couple of PLT, you know, collabs. And then it just be that. Because I just don't see what's going on there and like, even when she talks to Luca there's no like I like you there's none of that he's always him talking and she's just like yeah we're just looking into the distance like nah nah it's boring it's absolutely boring um but what I will say that I respect about Gemma though is that yesterday um obviously I don't know when this is going to go out hopefully tonight tomorrow I don't even know but um what I did respect about Gemma was when Ekinsu was talking to her about the fact that Jay's gone on a date and Gemma was just like, listen, if he has a better connection with this girl, then it wasn't meant to be. Like, this is the kind of advice that your friend should be giving you, my friend. Instead of you rubbing her back, oh yeah, darling, it's gonna be all right. Yeah, he's gonna come back and he's gonna wanna lick between your toes. He's gonna love you. He's, he's, he's probably not even talking to her. He's probably just thinking thinking about you. As a friend, you need to shut your big mouth and actually just be honest with your friend because, come on, my bread, my bread, rain. You were supposed to be friends and you're coming to do hanky panky, lion, lion, blind, pond of fire. This does, this does make sense. India, my babe for life. <laughs> India, what a gorgeous woman. What a go Guys, hold on a second. As in, India is in the house in 36 degree weather. I don't even know how hot it is there, but the villa is hot. My girl has baby has laid, her hair's laid. As in, she looks fantastic. Even when she hasn't got makeup on, still looking like a babe. I'm actually confused. I'm confused as to what the hell she's using in her edges for them to be doing hemp. And it doesn't even look like she's tried. You know what I mean? It's just like a little, yeah. you know what I mean? And this her skin, the makeup that she's been doing, that under eye highlight, homie, I would be looking like a pavement by now. I'd be looking grey. But India still is just, and the eyelashes, everything is a gorgeous, gorgeous babe. She's a gorgeous babe. Um, I've got nothing to say about her, to be honest with you. I really like the way that she was just like trying with the kinna, um, and really patient with him and was just kind of like trying to allow him to open up and stuff. I respect it, you know? Um, she's not doing too much. She's not doing too little. She's just chilling. I love watching black women just chill and just enjoy themselves. I love it. Black girl joy. Um, next up is Liam. Who the hell is Liam? Who the hell is Liam? Who the hell is Liam? Did I make that name up? Who's Liam? Do you know who I think I was supposed to call? <laughs> I think that's Jackies. Jacuz. Jack. I think that's Jack. I think I looked at Jack and thought his name's Liam. So I just put Liam on my phone. Anyway, Jack, um, he's cool. I, I actually like him. He's funny because he just says what everyone's thinking. Like, Davide and Ekinsu will be talking. He'll be like, you lot shacking it off again. I love it. I love the honesty. I love the way that he just is just real with it. Um, and him and Paige, I don't know. Like, it's just a bit boring. But I just think that he's just enjoying himself as well. So I'm here for it. Like, I'm here for you know, people enjoying themselves and stuff like that. And I do think that he's just like 
kind of stepped away from being Gemma's ex, which is really cool. You know, he's just had his own, like, he's making up his own name. So um, something definitely happened in that hideaway between them two. They definitely did fornication for the nation. And they're both pretending that they were just doing massages. Because Paige's face, she turned into a cherry tomato when everybody was asking her what happened, you know? Uh, because we all know that no, no pedicures or manicures was happening there. They were manicuring, you know what I mean? Each other, you know? I just think it's all right, babe. Um, Amber. Amber. Amber's gone. So there's not much that I can really say, to be honest. I just think that Amber kind of was becoming very miserable. Um, maybe she just felt like she was stuck with Dami. Um, it just wasn't really given much, you know? Um, I feel like when she first joined the house, I remember like bare people were saying like that they like what she's wearing or whatever. And she didn't want to say thanks. And I cannot stand when people get given a compliment and don't even have the decency to say thank you. Was you born in a barn? No, was you actually born in a barn? Um, the whole, the way that she was acting with Dami was just like backwards. Because to me, Amber came across as a very honest, like, you know, I I don't give no, I don't give no shit, you know? Um, but didn't sit Dami down and just be like, I'm not feeling this. Like, I just feel like, just be honest, babe. Um, and... She, like, what I didn't like was when, um, I think when Ekansu joined the house and Amber was like, I'm not, like, bitching under her breath, like, I'm not showing her around. And when Ekansu came, she was like, should we show you around the house? It's like, darling, if you're not feeling that way, like, let somebody else say, should we show you around the house? Like, in one breath, you're cussing her, and in the next breath, you're licking her bum. Just stop it, stop it. Because you come across as this, like, real girl, like, I don't give no, mm. But then in the next breath, you're just being kind of fake, you know? And like I said at the beginning, her chin was long. But why is that such a bad thing for me to say? Like, it was. Like I said, my chin's long. Um, My back is fat, you know? Like, come on. Like, come on. Like, are we actually being that sensitive? Anyway, Andrew Abor. Andrew is like Curtis. Just, it's like Curtis and Amy, isn't it? Him and Tasha. Boring. Tasha, boring. Um, Just, there isn't really much to them. They just seem like they're gonna, like, maybe win or maybe not you know i don't feel like anyone's really going to come in and like shake the boat for them too they're a bit like yeah um kind of feels like they've got no one else so they're just kind of like tracking it together um dami my g for life like i actually really like dami um i feel like firstly i want to say firstly i want to say can everybody stop putting so much pressure on dami in india like yesterday when you went on the day uh with Antigone, I think that's how you say her name. Um, so many people on Twitter were like, oh, Dami, 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 what you doing, mate? I'm going to slap your ear. Dami, Dami. Dami doesn't owe India anything. Are they actually in a relationship? As in, they're not even in like, they're not even coupled up on the show and they're not even together as in relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend. So I feel like people need to remember that the whole aim of the game is to find love and get the 50K freaking money. Um, find love, we say. And can we just be honest? Like, can we just be honest and just be like, yo, if Dami's not feeling it, then it's actually okay. Like, why is it that people want to force black people on one another? It's actually all right. It's all right. Let things happen organically. I will say though, um, when Dami kissed India's hand and when he, you know, um, after she, they were talking about the kiss, right, that they had when they were doing the challenge. And he was asking how the kiss was and she was like, yeah, it was all, like, it was all right. Um, and then he said, is it the best kiss you ever had? And she was like, hmm. And then she was like, is it the best kiss that you've ever had? And he said, yeah. And you know, sometimes with a lot of guys, when you kind of like break them down and say like, oh, that was a dead kiss, they'll be like, yeah, they'll come and try, they'll kind they'll, they, <laughs> they'll try and like um, downplay like how they feel because they're embarrassed that like, you don't feel that way. But I really respect the fact that he was like, regardless of activity, regardless of how you feel about the kiss, I loved it. I love that about a man, you know what I mean? Who's just like brazen with it, confident with it. And then the way that he just stood up and lipsed her, yeah? I was in me feels. Like I was actually excited. Like I got butterflies as, as if it was me. I love, I love like affection and love and all that, especially when my black peoples are doing it. I love it. Like Dami and India, they just, it's so cute. He's so big. She's so titty, titty, petite, and just so like, oh, he's so cute. 
Um, I mean, I hope it works out for them, but if it doesn't, it's actually all right. Like, it's going to be all right. You understand? Black people, we're going to be all right, regardless of if India and Dami don't work. Like, can we stop putting so much pressure on people? And this is why Priscilla and Mike didn't work out, because everyone was trying to be doing black cloth, black cloth, black cloth, black cloth. But did they actually love each other? Did they? And I feel like they probably had the pressure of the, of, um, pressure from the whole freaking world for things to happen and for things to look so great together. And sometimes as black people, black women, black men, sometimes it just doesn't work. You know, maybe that black woman wasn't the black woman for you. Maybe that black man wasn't that black man for you. Maybe your person isn't black and that's all right. Um, but yeah, damn you, real G for going on the date with Antony. Oh, 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 damn it. You're a real G. The way you acted on that A date with Antony. Yeah. I would have to ruin it. But yeah, um, the fact that he like sist sister um was was nice because it was kind of like, you know, I'm feeling India. Cause he didn't need to do that, you know. He could have just been like, I'm feeling you, I want to get to know you, and then kind of like bypassed India when he got to the house. Um, I do need more screen time with them though, because I'm not being funny, but we deserve more as black as black people and as and for black love, we need to see it more on our TV screens. I don't want to see Gemma freaking talk about her horses with Luca. And I don't want to see Tasha speaking about paint drying with Andrew. I'm not interested. I want to see some real melanin love. You understand? Not everyday love and hip hop, not everyday BET you have to go and click on these channels. Sometimes I want to see it on ITV too. You understand? Tasha told you she's a bore. It seems like a nice person, but kind of just, you know, you'd walk into the room and she'd just be in the wall because she just messes with everything, you know? Um, nothing wrong with that. Just doesn't sign up to me. Boom, bam. Davide, freaking legend. Davide is an absolute legend. Oh my gosh. And the other day he, um, no, not the other day, yesterday. Sorry, guys. I've actually got it on my phone. Um, yesterday, when... <laughs> When they got back from the day with the new girl and Tony, right? And um um and Davide was like, Ekin, you see, you see the kids are very passionate. <laughs> very passionate. No, legend. Because you're actually trying to trigger Ekin too. And can I also say, everybody on Twitter that's like, I think they're bullying Ekin too. I'm not being funny, but I see where you're going with it. And I do feel like the way they portrayed her has to be like the bad female and like really bad that she's, you know, lied about this and lied about that. Um, and they're kind of using her to be like the villain of, of the episode kind of, yeah. Um, I hear it, but it's not that deep. Like there's always going to be someone that they pick, you know, there's always going to be someone that they're going to put into the limelight as that bad person. Um, but it is what it is. Like, can we just remember this is a reality show? And a lot of this, like, I feel like it's not even really real. Um, and it is, it really is what it is. Like, if it was the other way around and Ekansu was a man, they'd be doing the same. They'd be making it worse. Like, oh, he's a cheat and da da da. They'll be going um, to come and find his GCSE results and be putting it on the Royal Mail. Like, can we just not? Like, it's really not that deep. Um, all I can see he needs to do was be honest with the, the video and just be like, yeah, I can stay. But you came to lie. It's unnecessary. It's actually very unnecessary. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, David is a legend. All his little one-liners. When he said that he'd rather... What did he say? He'd rather be single and leave the house than to get with um, than to get with Ekansu again was just hilarious. And the way that he was like, calm as a beach. I think that's so funny. It's just so, so funny. Like the, the things that he says is just hilarious. And I want to see him on like having his own show or something when he comes out because his one-liners are just hilarious. He's funny without even trying to be, you know? Um, Ekansu, um, Ekansu, beautiful. I just feel like she's kind of like um, confused. Like she seems as if like her type is just someone who's 28. Like, Every guy that comes in, how would you? 28, same. Like, you, you don't even seem like you're attracted to them. You just seem like you're just, like, going with, with anybody who's older than you. Um, I feel like she was very full on with Jay and kind of saying that, like, she she went with her heart and everything. I'm thinking, bro, it was, like, two days. Like, you wanted someone who um, would, you know, protect you and love you or whatever. And I feel like that takes time. I feel like she looked at Jay and thought, oh, he's big and muscly and, you know, he seems to be attracted to me. 
And I think she kind of ran with that. And it's kind of like, now Jay's not really giving her what she wants. Um, and, and it seems like he's interested in other, other women. She's just a bit like heartthrob. Like she doesn't know what to do with herself. When he went on that date, yeah, flipping hell. Ekin, babe, like it's actually right. He's not going to Cassie and Moore. He's just freaking by the lake having a freaking watermelon drink. It's all right. Like it's actually all right. And do you not know how to play it as, as like be calm with it? You see me, if my, if, um, my man's on the show went on a date. Do you think I'm letting anybody know that I'm burning? I'll be burning in the sun. I'll be sitting there burning my skin off because I'm not telling anybody. I'm not telling anybody. I'm not even pretending that I'm I'm having like a hard time. I'm living my best life. I'll go to go and do swimming. I'll go and cream my hair. I'll do anything. Just set my mind off it. But no one's going to know that I'm feeling this way. Um, I think that the way that she was moving was mad. And then the way that she was trying to make the other girls panic as well. like, And the way that Indy had to shout at her, Shout at her and just be like, listen, relax. Like, we're not actually thinking about this anymore. Um, and, yeah, I just feel like sh things are about to fall apart for her. Like, even when they showed, like, the clips of, of what's going to happen today, um, I feel like ITV, you've really got nothing else to do because you showed us a five-second clip of them two arguing. Why? Is there nothing else? Is there actually nothing else for you to show us? Um, so, yeah, she's just saying to, to Jay that you're the biggest Oscar like, she's literally using the same keywords that Davide did, used on her. And was like, you're an Oscar-winning, clap for yourself. Like, she, you know, Davide did the same thing to you, babe. And you lied. You did the same thing. You actually did the same thing. Um, from what I know, Jay hasn't kissed anyone or anything. Like, you actually went and crawled on your knees like a freaking FBI agent to kiss someone. Like, it really wasn't that deep, babe. You could have just said, could have just said, listen, I'm feeling the guy and kiss him, you know? Um... What else? Oh, what else? Um, the way that she was acting when Antitoni came in was jarring as well. Like, bro, you're like checking how tall she is. And you're like, oh, she does gym as well. Like, I'm not being funny, but nearly 98% of the freaking world, women in the world, go to the gym. Like, that's not something to be like, oh, you, she goes gym, I go gym. Like, I mean, well, yeah. Yeah. What does that even freaking mean? Um, and I feel like, and to Tony and Jay, like, they seem like they've got, like, a good connection going. And, but now I'm hearing that Jay's trying to move the page. Jay is confused. Like, Jay is actually confused. And I think because he was in the, in the, the low three, not the top three, the, the, um, the, the last three. Oh, what is it saying? Whatever. Because he was in the bottom three. Oh, there we go. We get there in the end. Because he was in the bottom three, I feel like he's panicking and thinking, I'm not going to win this show if I stay with Ekansu. So he's trying to, like, find a way out. Obviously, man's way out was Amber, but Amber dipped. So he doesn't know what to do now. Do you know what I mean? So what makes no sense is, wouldn't you go with Antitoni, the new girl, because you've got more of a chance there than Paige, who's copied up with Jackie Sheesh. It doesn't make sense. Um... So, and also, Ekansu doesn't have the right to determine who Jay speaks to. He's not your man, sweetheart. He's not your man. Because Davide wasn't saying to you, don't go and speak to Jay, you know? Bro. Um, yeah, so, Jay. Jay is just confused all over the place. I just think that he got so gassed to lips Ekansu and actually stopped, didn't stop to deep that she actually wants someone to marry her tonight. And I think he was just like, going with it and then didn't have the balls to kind of just be like to her like yo I'm not feeling it because when they did that challenge and they were like oh kiss someone that you'd recouple up with and he kissed Paige and then Ekazu was like oh would you would you couple up with her whatever he was like yeah <laughs> yeah yeah like awkwardly laughing like what's what's so awkward about that you know and what's so awkward is when Amber and Eke, um, Ekena left, right? And Ekansu was like, you know, Jay, if you left, I'd be right behind you. And Jay was like, to be honest, I don't think I'd leave with you. Excuse me, sir. You see, if a guy says to you first that, like, I wouldn't have done this, like, I don't feel this way about you, how would you then say, but I feel this way about you? But babe, I feel the same. I don't care about you either. I, excuse me. You're telling me that you wouldn't leave the house with me and then I'm coming with my big, big head to say, I would have left the house with you. What's that going to change? He's already said it. He's already said it. Cover your heart. Cover your heart. Um, Charles, absolute bore. I am so, so bored. He should have just come in on a horse because I just don't know what the hell is going on. Um, 
He's so boring. Why was his face so oily and shiny? I just, no. And like, no, 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 no. All the girls look so bored. Like I was literally falling asleep because I was just thinking of all the people to put in this, into this house to shake up things, you put freaking Lord Farquaad in there. It doesn't make any sense. Boring. Um, Antigone, I think she's got amazing teeth, amazing body. Um, she's got no chin, but you know, people strive all the time with no chin. Um, <laughs> but she's lovely. Yeah, she seems like a really, really genuine person and like just like a nice, nice, nice person. Um, and like even the vibe that she had when she came in was just like really genuine. The way she was speaking to the boys, the way that she hotted up Ekansum was like, bro, if I kissed him, you would know. Like, babe, talk your ish. I love it. Um, no, she seems like a really, really nice um, woman. And I feel like I really like her energy, the way that she's gone about things. Danica, babe, babe's got verbal diarrhea. She can't stop speaking. She actually can't stop speaking. Um, in her mind, her and Davide have slept together already because I actually don't understand how... When when uh Auntie Tony came into the house and she was like asking all the girls, like, you know, what's you lot's situations? And Danica was like, Well, me and um Davide are seeing seeing what? Because Davide hasn't mentioned your name once. You guys had a drink, um, like a little coffee near the near the pool side, and now you think that you and him are like, it's deep because ITV did her dirty. You came, she came into the house, not you didn't set up one challenge or one date for her, and you just put her into the house with no tools, nothing. She had to go around and talk to everybody herself. Then, then you made her recouple in the second that she was there. Like that's actually deep. To then put her, she made, she, you made her recouple up with Luca, who absolutely hates her because he's up Gemma's asshole. And I just, <laughs> I just think that like, it's just so unfortunate for her. You know what I mean? Like ITV actually set her up. She's having to do her own grafting and that. You use her own PowerPoints to try and show why she's an amazing wifey. It's deep. Um, but then you gave Antitoni a freaking free date near the pool side and she was drinking watermelon daiquiris. Now you lot actually set her up bad. Um, so I feel deep for Danica, but then at the same time, I feel like she's talking too much, she's doing too much. But then what are you supposed to do for trying to couple up, you know? So it's a bit like, what is she supposed to do? Bless her. Um, overall, who am I loving at the moment? I'm loving, I'm putting them in order, obviously. I've got five favorites. India, Dami, Jack, Davide. Davide. Hmm, do I like Danica? Davide. And Danica. Let's say Danica and Antony. I'll, I'll do six. At the moment, those are the people that I'm, I'm liking. People that need to go on the top of my list to Luca and um, the new guy, Charles. Like, if I could have voted Charles like yesterday, I would have. Yeah. Because what are you doing? What are you doing in there? Stop it. Stop it right now. You've come with what KFC grease all over your face. Why are you so oily? I'm actually confused. Um, yeah, at the moment, I'm just loving it. I'm loving just witnessing everything. Like I said, I want to see more Black Love on my TV screens. I don't want to have to be watching behind the scenes to see love. Um, yeah, guys, send in any questions that you have. I don't know why the hell you'd have questions. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm ready for uh, the finale. They need to put Casa Ramor in. Like, they need to start it up ASAP. Um, that Remy guy that was there, shame, I completely forgot about him. Um, it's deep because they should have kept him in for Danica. I feel like that would have worked. Yeah, that would have been nice for them too, but he's not there anymore. He's on an easy jet flight. He's not even on an easy jet flight. He's on top of an estate rapping that I saw on Twitter. Anyway, each of their own. Um, hope you all have a great rest of the week. I don't know when this is coming out. Hopefully tonight, because I would love to put it out before a new episode comes out, but each of their own. I, probably nothing's even going to happen. You know what I mean? I probably not even missed anything, to be honest. But yeah, dun 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 We're back, bitch. Good night. Goodbye. Okay, I'm reloaded.